So I want to talk to you today about a new direction. I've been publishing videos about real estate for a bit and I've been in the industry for quite a while and uh, I just don't have the stamina and the desire to publish that many YouTube videos about real estate investing. And uh, how many times can you do a how to find cash buyers video on a clipboard? About a month ago, I decided I'm going to go all out and publish a video a day on YouTube. I tried that a couple of times and I said, let me see what kind of traction I get. And at the end, I did get more views, I did get more subs, but I was just tired of it. I just didn't have an interest. And so my question to you is, aren't you interested in other things outside of real estate investing? If I look at me, me personally, I do quite a bit of a few things. I do online marketing. I do, I sell courses, I do real estate, I do affiliate marketing, I have this YouTube channel. Uh, there's a lot of things that I do and yet they're not represented in this channel. Would you like to know about those things? Would those things help you potentially expanding your horizons? I know that when I got started as a real estate investor, one of the things that helped me become uh, a, a leader in this industry Right, because I developed so many different techniques. I was the first one to use 24 hour recorded messages. I was the first one to have postcards where the text is injected into the postcard for the owner's property information and the owner name. And those are things that are commonplace right now, but back then, 2003 or four, it wasn't commonplace. Am um, I using 24 recorded messages, virtual wholesaling, all those things. And all those things came about. All those things came about because of the fact that I went out and I looked at other industries and I looked at other things and I brought them into real estate. And um, I, I think about uh, Reed Hoffman, who's the guy that created uh, Priceline. And he said that one of the things that, uh, the, re the way that Priceline came about was that um, they, he was looking at the produce uh, industry and looking at, like say, bananas. And the moment bananas expire, you can't sell any anymore. So they, they expire and then you lose all ability to be able to sell those. So the, the more that the banana is closer to being ripe, the, the more that they're willing to do anything that they can to get rid of it. And he thought that uh, the industry, uh, the airline industry was the same thing. The moment that airplane door closes, then you can no longer sell that seat, it is expired. And he then took the idea from the produce, applied it to the airline industry, and he calls that idea sponging, where you're taking ideas from a variety of different, um, different industries and bringing them to your industry and kind of combining them together. And that's what I did with uh, Facebook, Facebook ads for motivated sellers. I'm now the leader in that particular uh, niche and I have the most customers, the most success stories. And it only came because I'm looking at that, looking at what we're doing and, and merging that with what I was doing with postcards and coming up with that unique angle and a new and unique way of doing things that created results. And so then now my question to you is wouldn't you, if, wouldn't you want to know about all those things? Would you want to know and learn about online marketing, online advertising, affiliate marketing, building your own YouTube channel, doing real estate as well? Because that would help you. That would help you understand uh, a broader, give you a broader perspective on the variety of different things that are out there, the ways to make money. And then now you can expand your horizons and you could do better. You could have greater possibilities. That is my assumption that you would be interested in. So what I want to know from you is, what are you interested in learning about? Because then that way I can then make that part of the programming for the channel. Because at the end of the day, I want to be selfish about this because I want to do things that I'm interested in, that I find interesting, intri uh, intriguing, that I'm uh, things that I'm testing, uh, new business ideas that may or may not work out, and I'd be more than happy to share those with you. And that's interesting to me to be able to make videos for you on that. And so the question is, are you interested in hearing about those things? And that's that's my question. So the new direction is that you're going to see more and more uh, content and videos that are going to cover a variety of different topics, not just real estate investing, because real estate investing is just not the only thing I do. And so you might say, Chico, I just want real estate stuff. And if you got that garbage coming on here in this channel, I'm out of here fast, pronto. Then it may be that we may have to part as friends, right? Uh, friends for a reason, friends for a season. That's what my uh, somebody I heard said. Uh, and, but at the end, I think it would help you. I, I think it would help opening your horizon so that now you could do better and you can have, uh, you know, I think about the everything that's happened right now with this economy. And the fact is, is that because of my knowledge base, I have options in terms of what I can do to make money and a variety of different things. And so I want you to have that same opportunity. That's all. So if I can help you do that and at the same time, it makes it interesting for me to teach you how to do that, then it's a win-win. Wouldn't it be a win-win? I think so. So. 
Let me know what you think. Is this a yay or nay? I'm still going to do it. But it'd be great to have your support. Make a comment. Let me know what kind of things you want me to cover. And we'll start getting on with it. I'll see you later.